I'm not trying to get out of your way, bro. I'm just trying to see her. <laughs> it's like I keep going like this. Like I don't want to be on camera. Sorry. Sorry. Man. I, I do want to be on camera okay. a little bit. Not not a lot. Hi, I'm Brian Bloom, and I play Varric in Dragon Age Inquisition. Let me tell you a little bit about Varric. Varric is a storyteller. Varric is a mercenary. Varric is a merchant. Varric is for sale. But Varric has evolved in many ways. My crime serials are my most popular. Hard in Hightown. Guards breaking the rules to get things done. The Tale of the Champion is the most famous thing I've written, or... Infamous, maybe. One of my favorite lines is, uh, I remember Varric said one time, it was after a battle, and he said something like, uh, I, I know I'm not dead because there'd be more women here. And I think that that sums up like part of his, his vision and view of himself because there's very little sign that that's actually, uh, that's all part of his maybe inflated vision of himself. Hi, I'm Claudia Black. I play Morrigan in Dragon Age Inquisition. I love voice work because I can usually turn up without having bathed, except on days like this when there's cameras in the room. It's extremely playful and it, it allows actors to be very unselfconscious. And there are some technical aspects to it, so, you know, not wearing noisy clothing and yet trying to find a way to make all the sounds come from your body because you can hear the difference when everything sounds too clinical and cold. Well, well, what have we here? Really important, actually, that your voice is warmed up before you get in there because everyone expects you to be sort of game ready, as it were. I gargle glass and scotch and shark's teeth. That's how I find Varric. Bianca, baby, introduce yourself. Oh, please. Bianca can handle this herself. Bianca, you minx. That was beautiful. Your eyes can't speak for you on the microphone. You open your eyes and you have a very intense look, but if your voice hasn't changed, it's not going to translate. You know, sometimes I've seen some guys that have to take off their shoes and get up on their tippy toes to find the, the tone and the voice and literally hit the notes of their character. And that works because nobody can see you. But if you had to be that guy on camera, you couldn't do that anymore. When you're presented with a role uh, that's been well written, there's already inherent complexities in the character and um, Morrigan from Dragon Age is no exception. So I was really lucky to step into something that had been so thoughtfully crafted by David. And I've never really been in the dark about, you know, the layers of her character and what their expectations are. When I just have faith and trust that I can identify and place myself sort of empathically, that's really how I do it. I'm just sort of a bit of an empath with my acting and I will just find a way to just step into that situation and the, the emotion comes usually very easily. Laughter, I find, is much harder than tears. In the older generation, um, which I'm partially from, we used to joke about hearing yourself on people's answering machines. You know, hey, this is uh, Brian, uh, leave a message, or this is the Bloom family, leave a message and, you know, time and date you're calling and we'll get back to you. And that was a lot of people's first time hearing their voice and they're like, I sound like that? It would be pretty irresponsible and sort of silly to keep to do this kind of voice work and still feel that way. But that's not to say that sometimes it doesn't come back and it's not what you wanted, not what you expected, not what you hoped for. Sometimes that can be a good thing and sometimes it can be like, oh man, go back to the drawing board, man, fix that. Whoa, my Tommy made the most insane sound just then. That's because I had millet pudding for dessert. Oh, of course I'd want Bianca. I mean, are you kidding me? And I know a couple of people I would use it on immediately. None of them are in this room, or no one, none of them are watching. And if you are watching, I'm coming for you. <laughs>